Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Just want to give you some guidance on your picking hand and your fretting hand here. So with your picking hand, you want to make sure that you're poising your thumb to play the lower strings, and then use your index, your middle, and your ring finger, just to keep picking in this upwards pattern on all of the shapes. So moving over to our fretting hand, you'll want to place your index on the high E, your little finger on the B, and your ring finger on the G string because when we move to this shape, you can now hammer on with your ring finger and slide comfortably back up into this initial shape. It's all about being as smooth as possible. It's gonna help you move between these shapes when you play it at full speed. So for Elk, I'm going to break this down into two sections. We've got the first segment, which we're picking between the low A and the high B string. So dedicate your thumb, index, middle and ring to each string in this riff, and that will make it easier to play. Things get a bit more complicated when we move to the second part of the riff. What I'd like you to do here is use your thumb to take care of the lower two strings, the E and the A string, and then use your other four fingers to take care of those higher notes. Right, so moving on to your fretting hand. The first part's not too difficult, as you can see here. But when we come down to the second part of the riff, you're gonna want to use your ring and your little finger to take care of the lower notes, and then position your other finger so you can move easily to play that slide and get the other notes as well. Okay, so for our last riff today, Camp Adventure, uh, the picking hand's not too difficult on this one. So you just want to use your your thumb, index, and middle finger, and you're going to be using the same picking pattern, repeats for all three chords in this triplet motion. Right, so moving over to our fretting hand. For this one, you're gonna start with a power chord shape. You know how to do that one. The second shape, when you play it, I want you to bar above with your index finger. So when you move to this last chord, you're not moving your index finger again. So let's watch that closely. So I'm going to move now, I've got my ring finger, but when I pull off to this last chord, my index finger is all ready to go. 